Hey guys, so today's video is a Q&A. One of my subscribers, um, she commented on one of my videos and she asked me, my husband always cheats, what should I do? Please tell me. So this is a very loaded question. I know what it's like to be in that position when you are with your husband or your wife or your partner and you know that they're being unfaithful and you don't necessarily know what to do and you are going through a lot of pain and you're suffering. I know how that is and I'm really sorry that you're going through that but I am somebody who has gone through that and who has recovered from it and become a stronger person from it. So I wanted to share with you my experience to try and help you out. So when you're with somebody that you are really in love with or that you have invested a lot of your life with, maybe you have kids with them, maybe you have tied your finances with them, maybe you're married, you have shared assets, whatever it is, um, it can be very, very difficult to make the decision to actually leave them and start over. And you could feel like that you are going to experience a lot more pain if you do decide to leave them rather than if you decide to stay with them. Um, so you're kind of would be weighing that out in your mind. That's what I was doing. You know, I thought, okay, I'm going to be broke. I'm going to be single, I am going to be um, emotionally broken, can I really deal with that as opposed to staying, just staying with this person and trying to work things out and trying to rebuild our relationship. So there is that dilemma there. So there is no one correct response for everybody that is going through this situation. It's very case by case. Okay, so I just can't say you should leave or you should stay and that applies to everybody. It really depends on your particular situation. I'll just give you a few, few suggestions though. If you feel like your husband or your wife does not want to change and does not want to work things out with you and doesn't want to make you happy, you know, care about your happiness enough to go to marriage counseling or go to some kind of program to help them so that they don't cheat on you anymore and to rebuild a strong, healthy relationship, then I think that the best option is to leave and to start fresh and to find somebody else that will care about your happiness. And not necessarily just the goal to find someone else but to heal yourself and to love yourself and discover that you can live a happy life without your partner. So just ask yourself, do you, I really believe that this person will change for me. And I think that in your heart, you will know if he or she will. And not only that, ask, well, he or she, is he or she, maybe he or she, does want to change for me, but are they really capable of it? Because that is really what matters. Are they actually going to do it? They might intend or want to, but what, what really matters at the end of the day is if they will, right? It's what occurs. It's what happens outside. And then after that, if the answer is yes, well then you can start the process of going to counseling, seeking out relationship advice, taking actual steps to rebuild your relationship and address the problems of why there was cheating in the first place. But if you feel like your partner is not going to change, you, you, all, you have to leave. Do you really want to spend the rest of your life sad and suffering and feeling powerless with this person and feeling like you're not really being loved because he or she is not being faithful to you. So you really need to sit down and ask yourself, am I really willing to live the rest of my life this way and to suffer or am I going to be brave and 
leave and start a new life. And yes, it will be hard and yes, it will be painful too. But there is a light at the end of that tunnel, unlike this other situation that you are currently in. So if you do decide to leave, I have a video about how you can recover from a breakup and I also have a video about how you can cultivate self-love which will really also help you to start a fresh life with some new ideas and new perspectives that can really help you a lot, I think. So I hope that this helps you with your decision and that you eventually find the happiness and the peace that you want, that I want, that everybody wants, that all, we all want. And I hope that you find that place um, in your future. Okay, have a good day guys, bye. How to be respected. If you're looking to be respected, um, I understand how you feel. It can be very frustrating to feel like you're not being respected and that you're not being heard and I just want to let you know that I completely know how you feel and I also struggled with this back when I was younger and I figured out how to gain respect and feel good about myself and feel heard so I wanted to share that with you. The first thing that I learned that can really help you gain respect is to start building your skills. So that quote basically means if you have enough skill in something, you will rise up and automatically be respected because you will be so good that they can't ignore you.